all right let's go and complete the remaining task of exercise one okay so we need to resume from task three and here we need to create an azure cosmos db account resource so the steps are we first need to go to the all services or but basically we'll directly go and look for azure cosmos db and then from there we'll select and we'll click on add so basically we need to create azure cosmos db okay so let's go to the azure portal and i'll look for azure cosmos db it's here i'll simply click on this one now here is the option to create a new cosmos db okay so here you can see here are our tabs which we need to fill so now let's go back and see what are the instructions we have now so okay so from the basic step we need to complete all those activities leave the subscription as it is default resource group we need to go and select this is the one we, which we created in the last video as part of task one and here account name we need to give this one polycosmos and then your name in the api drop down list we need to select core sql and in the notebooks preview section we'll select off so let's go and complete these six steps and then we'll come back here okay so subscription oh sorry subscription will leave as it is resource group will go and select polyglot data account name will give it as oh, sorry not this one account name is this one polycosmos and then your name so i'll give it as okay azure api we need to select core sql notebooks preview we'll keep it off location i'll go and select east us east us and then apply free tier discount no okay account type non-production let's go and verify these three properties location east us account type non-production multi resin rights disable okay so we'll keep everything off disable let's go to the networking now here it is very important so there is nothing mentioned here right so we'll keep the default values as it is networking connectivity method all networks encryption will keep as it is tags will leave blank review and create so creation time subscription resource group location account name polycosmos okay azure api and everything okay looks good so i'll simply click on create so here you can see your deployment is underway so basically it is creating a cosmos db instance for us it took almost 12 to 15 minutes to create the azure cosmos db account now here you can see that our account is ready so i'll close and i'll go back to the so here it says that now next thing is that we need to go to resource groups we need to look for our new resource group polyglot data and from there we need to go and select the polycosmos our cosmos db account then from there we need to go to the settings section and then we need to look for keys so basically from keys we need to copy the primary connection string okay so let's go here i'll go to resource groups polyglot data and from here i need to look for cosmos db it's here under settings i have to go to the keys here you can see right from keys we need to copy the primary connection string so we'll copy this one primary connection string i'll copy and i'll paste this into in my notepad actually so i'll type as primary connection string i'll paste it here okay close and i'll close everything okay so we are done here with the task three now task for what it says that create an azure storage account resource okay so we need to go and look for a storage account we need to create one and then we need to put these many details to create the 
the storage account so i'll simply go and let me close this one so here is option to create a storage account and if you guys if it doesn't then you can go and type here storage account it's here i'll simply click on this one i'll click on click click on plus to create a new storage account here it is let's go look for the details so in the subscription i'll leave as it is default resource group we need to go and select polyglot data storage account name this is what we need to put location is us performance standard account type or kind we need to go for storage v2 lrs hot okay just follow me here resource group we need to go and select the polyglot data account name poly store and then you guys need to add your username so okay is your east us standard storage v2 general purpose lrs hot okay that's it now we need to click on select and review networking will keep as it is data protection will leave default advanced again default text will keep it blank review and create so here you can just go and verify whatever you have options you selected now i'm just going to click on create so it will create a storage account for us here you can see your deployment is underway so we'll wait for this to happen so now here you can see it's done it's complete i'll close this one let's go back and here it says review and then click on create wait for creation tasks to complete so we are good here so in this part we created all the azure resources that you will need for your polyglot data solution now next is exercise 2 so i'll catch you in the next video